Today, SeaWorld stock hit a record low. The plunge came after the theme park announced attendance has dropped over the past six months. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now live in studio. And Mike, SeaWorld has made some big changes lately, but the company is still struggling. It is, Ginger. When SeaWorld released its quarterly earnings today, Wall Street was disappointed. As a result, SeaWorld's stock price dropped more than 13%. Now, earlier this year, SeaWorld announced it would stop breeding killer whales. It appears the company has still not recovered from the bad publicity it received following the release of that anti SeaWorld documentary Blackfish. But SeaWorld officials claim their attendance problems actually go deeper than that. In the first six months of this year, SeaWorld as a company lost more than 400,000 visitors. Now the company says that the attendance declines occurred primarily at its Florida parks, which also include Bush Gardens, Tampa. Now in a statement, SeaWorld CEO Joel Bambi blamed the attendance decline in part on fewer visitors from Latin America, saying that's down about 40%. He said Tropical Storm Colin in early June kept some visitors away, and Mamby says there was an overall downturn in the Orlando tourism market in late June. Now, according to Mamby, the problem at SeaWorld isn't SeaWorld. The problem, he says, is Florida. Now, next week, Disney will announce its quarterly earnings. We should get a little bit better idea then about the health of the local tourism market. Julie?